Good morning, guys. My name is Rasmus. And I'm Dudley. And welcome to this brand spanking new channel called Two Men in a Shed. One of the things we're going to be doing on this channel is basically building and fixing stuff. I love building and fixing things, and I really want to share some of my projects with you and hopefully show you that it's not as difficult as some people think. But the most important part, of course, is it is about drinking coffee. Um, the thing is, there's so much interesting stuff happening in the world of instant coffee, and I think our job is really to guide you through this amazing world of flavors. So guys, stick around. Okay, the project we want to do today is very simple. We want to fit an engine to my son's pedal go-kart. It has given him lots of good years of service, but he deserves an upgrade. He is almost five, after all. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start by taking it all to pieces. We're gonna take the seat off, we're gonna take the pedals off, and everything that made it pedal powered. Okay, first of all, we're just gonna take the seat off so we can see what we're working with. Okay, there's the seat. Okay, next, I'm gonna just turn it over and remove this cover that covers up all of the pedal assembly. Okay, so the plan for this is pretty simple. This is the back of our go-kart frame, the red tubular frame. We already have an axle coming through with a wheel on either end, and we have a sprocket that used to connect to the pedals. What we need to do is fit the engine. Now, the engine is going to have to go on the back here. There's nowhere else for it to go. It already has a sprocket on it, which we can join up to our axle, but we will have to put our own sprocket on. But the other thing I want to fit is a disc brake. I want to have some bolts going through here, holding a disc brake, which will salvage from a bicycle, with a caliper as well. Now, of course, all of this is going to have to sit on some sort of platform or frame, which we're going to have to build at the back here, which will also have to hold a petrol tank. So, let's get started. Okay, first thing we need to do is build an axle. This is the original axle from the go-kart and it's got like a kind of bicycle style sprocket on it. We need it to have this sprocket, which is a much finer tooth and it matches the one on the engine. So the first thing we need to do is modify the sprocket so that it fits onto here, but we also want to have a disc brake, which we're going to steal from the bicycle. We're going to bolt that on. Now, if you were doing this professionally, you would use a welder to put on an extra flange to the axle and you'd use a lathe to turn up an adapter. We're not doing any of that stuff today because we want to keep this simple. So this is what we're going to do. Okay. okay, this is the disc brake we're going to use. The first thing we need to do and we need to attach the sprocket. Now, we basically filed out the sprocket to the shape we need, but we do need to make sure that it's all going to work. These holes will work fine. Or not. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> but these ones need filing out a little bit. So that's not a problem, we can do that. Okay, so there we have it. We've got the same axle in the same position, but it now has the larger cog and the disc brake on it. The next thing we need to worry about is building the frame, but before that, we're gonna have a coffee. Right, so today we are going to taste Little's Rich Hazelnut Coffee. It's something I found in Sainsbury's, and I, you know, it looks nice, it looks really cool. Um, it has a really fresh, nice hazelnut aroma. And it's one of those coffees that cost you a fortune. It's about 350, I think, or 250. Um, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what do you think? In terms of aroma, it smells expensive. To be honest, I think it's a little bit weak. Yeah. Great it's aroma. Not, I can't. I, you know. The taste is great and the smell is great. But I think it's weak. Yeah, it's not as strong as I thought it would be. And actually, it doesn't taste as strong as it smells. I think. Right. So obviously this is not just about that one little brand of coffee. Um, I'm going to be your guide in guiding you to the absolutely perfect workshop type coffee in the world. 
Now, what was that requires some sort of rating? So this is what I'm gonna do. As I mentioned, I'm looking for two things. I'm looking for punch and I'm looking for flavor. And where in my world does Little's Rich Hazelnut Cafe stack up? Well, flavor, mm, probably somewhere over here. Punch, I, I wasn't really impressed with the punch. So unfortunately, although the packaging is cool, this is where I'm gonna go. Okay, so we've got our axle and our disc brake. It's fairly crude the way we've put it together, just using nuts and bolts. I'm sure if a proper engineer saw this, he'd have a heart attack, but he'll get over it. So what we need to do now is design a way for the engine to sit on the frame. Now we need to do this using the materials that we have available to us. We've got several pieces of this angled steel and we have this steel plate, which I'm thinking is gonna sit on the back of here. It's almost the right shape. It's not really as long as we'd like it to be. So we're gonna use these to sort of account for that. These are going to go in here. They're going to sit between the axle bracket and the frame, one on each side and then our engine platform is gonna bolt onto there. So, we've got some cutting and some drilling to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try screwing it in through the correct hole. We're going to see how that works out. <laughs> okay, we have an engine. So now we know we've got the engine right, we've got the sprocket in the right place, we've got the disc brake in the right place, which means we can put the wheels back on. Can I We've got all the right challenge equipment. You. Yeah. Did you get it on? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What's the thing over there? That's the old one that I had to cut to get it off. That's got a split in it. Ah, I see. Ah, up here for thinking. So guys, I think that's pretty far as we can get in this episode. Um, what are we going to do next? Next, we're going to get the pedal sorted out. We need to cut some pedals out of some bits of angled steel. We need to rig up some cables. We need to rig up a fuel tank and we need to sort the brakes out. Now we're hoping we can get all of that done in the next video, but we'll see. But that's not where all the fun ends today. I think I'm gonna treat you to just a little bit of Land Rover fun. All right, Dudley's gonna do that. I'm just gonna stick around. So we can't play with this toy, so we're gonna go and play with another one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>